Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we we'll learn how to resize and crop images. Two fundamental techniques that are essential for various image related tasks. Whether you're building image recognition systems, creating image editing apps, or simply exploring computer vision, these skills will come in handy. Resizing and cropping image are fundamental pre-processing steps in computer vision that significantly impact the performance and the efficiency of various tasks. For sizing, we can gain in computational cost reduction. Smaller images require less processing power, leading to faster training and inference times. Memory optimization. Reducing image size frees up memory, enabling the handler of larger datasets or more complex models. Consistent input size or standardization. Many computer vision models require fixed input dimension. Resizing ensures uniformity. At the last, detail enhancement. Though sampling can sometimes enhance certain details or pattern. On the other hand, by cropping we can focus on region of interest. Isolating the relevant parts of an image can significantly boost model performance. Data augmentation. Cropping can generate diverse training data. Irrelevant information removal. Cropping eliminates unnecessary noise. Finally, reduced processing time. Focusing on smaller image regions can speed up computation. After this overview of the benefit of resizing and cropping images, Let's start coding and test this technique of resizing and cropping images. This is a quirk of project like we did in the last video. I'm gonna create a simple Quarkus controller to test the resizing techniques. By right click on the package, new, Java class, I will call it lab2, lab2. To be considered as a controller, I should annotate it by path, by at path, at path, and give it a URL, uh, lab. After that, I will create a method that will be responsible to receive an HTTP response and a return an image after a size it public bytes an array of bytes we will return our image as an array of bytes I'm gonna call it process it will receive a file I will call it image We should import the file from Java IO. I'm gonna annotate it at post because our method will listen to the HTTP response post method and it will produce produce an image. Type PNG, PNG. Don't forget to annotate our image by at rest for. We give it the name image as well. We already did that in the last video. You can check more explanation about this method. Now we can start resizing our images with OpenCV. First of all, I'm gonna read our image and convert it to mate, a matrix, a standard representation of image in OpenCV. Var source, our image source, equal em codex dot em read 
I give it image dot get path. This line allows us to read our image and convert it to a matrix because OpenCV works only with matrices. To return our image, I should convert our matrix to bytes by creating a var byte a matrix of bytes equal new matrix of bytes em codex dot em encode dot image the IDE helps me with the line emg codex dot em encode png for the type of image I will save our source as a matrix of bytes finally I will return the bytes return between this line I'm gonna resize in our image. Resize it. The code necessary to resize our image is this three line. We should create a matrix. We call it destination or or whatever you want, and create a size object and give it the desired width and the height finally with image pros dot resize give it the source and the destination and the desired size we can resize any image increase it or decrease it as you wish now i'm creating the destination matrix var destination equal new mate var size equal new size for now I will give it an arbitrary width and height without pay attention so the aspect ratio 400 pixels and 300 pixels for the height after that we can apply the resize method em pros dots resize give it the source the destination and finally the size now we can check if our program works fine by running our Quarkus projects and testing the behavior of our application with insomnia The URL of our application is localhost 80 lab 2 In the body of our HTTP requests, I should give it a file. We call it image. And I choose the image from my picture directory. For the first one, cut one, press send. After a moment, I will receive a response from my project. I will test with another image, image two or cut two, send. I think that I have an error. I didn't return the right matrix. I should return this matrix 
control C control V now I send the image now it works we resize our image to 400 for the width and 300 pixels for the height I will save another one or the first one now we resize our image but we didn't respect the aspect ratio of our image our image are not good as it should be we can test with another one we notice more that the aspect ratio is not respect for that i will write a better code to ensure that our images will increase or decrease in size with respecting their aspect ratio first of all i should know what is the smallest size of our picture the width or the height var min side equal mass dot min I will give it source dot width and source dot height I should do this operation before sizing After that, I will calculate the ratio. Var ratio equal. For my case, I want to have at the minimum 500 pixels on the smallest side. This is side. Then 500 divided by mean side. To get more precise ratio instead of 500 i will write 500 dot zero to obtain double as a result then we create our destination matrix resize it but now we should use our ratio to define our desired size source dot width times ratio also for the, the height source dot height times ratio that's it by computing the aspect ratio for our image we are sure that all our images after resizing are good we will test that i'm gonna save and test with this image send now we have a good image i will test with a smaller one the image one because image one is the smallest one the smallest one is the height we give it 500 and by applying the ratio we it gets the appropriate width for this image for my case i want to have square images for this lab i want to have an image as a square however the image was landscape or portrait even it was small or a big for now i resized my images to have the smallest side as 500 pixels to crop the image we can use this line of code first of all we create a rect object by creating new rectangle x y and give it the desired width and the height x y are the coordinate where we start cropping after that we simply create a new matrix with the source and this rectangle like we are extracting a rectangle from our image cropping cropping I want to crop the image from the center because of that I should compute the X and the Y 
I will use a simple formula to calculate our x and y. var x equal the destination dot with minus the desired length for me 500 pixels and dividing all that with 2 I will use the same formula to calculate y coordinates after calculate the x and y as we saw in the slide we should create an object of type rect 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 rectangle equal new rect i will give it the x and y only 500 for the width and 500 for the height. Now creating the results. Var results equal new maths. I give it the destination as our main image. I want to extract this rectangle from the destination. Rect. After that, I should return back the results. I think we finish our lab. Now I resend our image. Congratulations, we are succeeded in our mission. We have square image with a width and a height of 500 pixels. That's what I want from this lab. I will test with other images like cat 2 a good image we respect the ratio and we, we get square image from this picture cat 3 send also a square image and we are respecting the aspect ratio finally we test with the fourth one send and all our images are good i will show you the original images to see the difference between the original and the resizing and cropping images this is the first image a small one we resize it and crop it to have a good looking picture. For the second one, we have a very big image with a portrait mode. The third one and the fourth one is also small. With our application, we can get a uniform images with 500 by 500 for each image and cropping on the center because the relevant data usually are on the center that's it for today's tutorial we'll cover the basics of resizing and cropping images using OpenCV and Java these techniques are building blocks for many image processing projects Feel free to experiment with different parameters and image types. In the next tutorial, we explore more advanced image processing techniques. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.